Hello everyone and welcome back to our Ark Survival Ascendant series. I am Survivor K and I have some bad, bad news. Um, sorry for starting with this whole gloom and doom attitude, but um, as you can see from behind me, I don't have Rexes, I don't have my breeding stuff, I don't have anything from the past month. Yeah, after... Um, the last update, I think, or something like that in between, I don't know. Um, I got my saves corrupted and I lost the progress for the last month. I have no mutations, at least I have all the Therizinos there and ready to breathe. I have no Rexes, no Bassies, no Megatheriums, no nothing. And I was working at the uh, water base, water pen over there. Now, I was struggling with crashes before and this has not been a really, really uh, enjoyable experience when struggling with crashes, but one month rollback is even worse. Now, this is all I got, have left. Um, I was apparently at the time that I got the save in progress with taming Rexes and Oviraptors, which makes our Rex talk lacking. And I don't even have the 300 something damage, the 314 damage or the 10k health. So this is terrible, if you ask me. Uh, I mean, one month of trying to push this just to see how it vanishes. Uh, no loot, no artifacts, no dinos, no nothing is not that fun, is not that fun at all. And I was seriously considering for the last couple of days dropping the series because again one month of dropping everything yeah that's too much however however in order to save the series and probably i'm gonna go back to um it or yeah let me let me put the plan first in order to save the series uh, i am not willing to go out and redo the whole month i'm not willing to go and try to push everything and try to farm rexes continuously and whatnot so what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my Rexes from my uh, online playthrough, right? I have a separate playthrough. The Rexes are vanilla. Everything is vanilla. They're mutated with the uh, video I already showed. I've already shown, right? So this is even before that video. Anyways, they're mutated using that um, kind of technique and... Yeah, they're 100% legit, only they're, they're uh, mutated in a different playthrough. Now, I don't really like doing it, and I don't really like mixing and matching series and playthroughs, but unfortunately, I'm not willing to put another month of work into recovering what got corrupted. Right, so this save that I'm playing on, um, the only one that worked, was is from 6th February, and today is... Uh, 5th March, 4th March, sorry. Right, so it's literally one month of work. At least it didn't go even further. Everything else was corrupted in crashing the game. And it was not because of some mod, because I used just a uh, custom dino level mod. And even after removing that, it got, um, it still was corrupted. Right, I don't know what's happening, but in order to recover, recover the series, I'm going to get the Rexes from uh, the terminal and I am going to continue with mutating the Therizinos. However, Therizinos were at I think 20 something mutations each and um, 20, around 20 mutations, doesn't matter, regardless, I'm going to keep mutating those um, because I still have the stock but I'm not going to do it in a pure vanilla way. I'm going to use mods to actually speed up things and get up to par with everything and tame everything that I was lacking off camera, meaning Baryonyxes, uh, Megatheriums, uh, Bassies, everything that I was missing uh, from the last recording until today, I am going to try to tame off camera. Holy, no, 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 no. <laughs> I called the other Johnny. At least Johnny's, the Johnny's are fine, right? At least the Johnny's are intact and thank god it didn't corrupt everything 
I am level 94 here. I was level 100 plus. Um, my chibi, for some reason, retained the level, which is weird. The good part is I got my other back. <laughs> the bad part is I lost all my gear, all my loot, all my everything. I have virtually nothing at this point, not even, I think, yeah, not even a breathable pair, pair of OV Raptors. So this is what I'm going to do. Now, in order to speed things up, of um, moving on from the whole disclaimer thingy and everything is bad and gloomy and whatnot. In order to move further quicker, I have to employ the help of mods. Right. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the mods throughout the series. I'm going to see how much quality of life they add and see which of them will not interfere as much with the vanilla playthrough. Now, the mods are mutation potion uh, the mod i think it's called easy mutation i spend quite a lot of time searching for the mods and searching through the uh, files trying to recover stuff but nothing happened so this one looked the most optimal because i don't want to go 5 10 20 x i want to go 1x and make it as um, realistic as possible and as vanilla as possible without spending the time so basically from what i understood if you feed this to your female dinos they will always drop a vanilla regular mutated baby which means i don't have to wait for the chance to happen i will always have it and will always increase stats by vanilla uh by one x or vanilla whatever setup settings you know Another one, which I have been struggling with quite a lot, and I was considering adding it much sooner because I hate cryopods. <laughs> Sorry, but it's true. I do hate the cryopods, and I don't really like what they did with the vanilla cryopods, so I'm going to use Pelayuri's cryopods. I think I'm pronouncing this correctly. What does this do? As you can see, they're not cheap by any means, right? They're fairly well integrated in the vanilla playthrough. Now these cryopods, let me, they're called cryo chambers and they're the same as the cryopods, right? I will have to farm them uh, again and reuse everything and whatnot. Uh, they have customizable settings. They have this cryo terminal, which is going to auto claim babies. I use this mod in my online playthrough. So basically, I'm not going to have to wait on the oviraptor and hatch the eggs. I can just leave them there and they will hatch themselves. And this guy is going to claim them. And I just have to come back in the cryo terminal and see if I have any good mutated dino. Right. I'm going to show all of this when I reach, I don't know some level of mutations and I get bored of mutations and I need to do something else like a cave or a underwater cave or something like that. Right. So this is the cryo terminal. It doesn't work uh, if you're away. So unless they're on wonder and because of that, I have hitching post and this is going to help me uh, keep the dinos hitched so I can enable the wandering and they are in the same place inert and they can breathe in peace right so i don't have to do the whole monstrosity with the three layers of uh, dinos and enable them to breathe and whatnot because i have the potion and i don't need the oviraptor and hatching and checking uh, the dinos because i have the cry terminal so probably i'm gonna do five and five or 10 and 10 and let them uh, breed with the potion and come back every once in a while. Cool. Yeah, I didn't want to do this, to be honest. Um, some of the mods I used before, and I know Pelayori's uh, cryopods are much better than the vanilla ones. On all levels, you even have a cryo gun. You can disable plenty of stuff, uh, like being damaged and whatnot. You can have it work like a Bark Survival uh, Evolved cryopod which is going to be very good. Or you can have it work like a Dino Storage mod in the Survival Evolved game. So, yeah, unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, here, let me grab all of this from Johnny. Uh, it is what it is. These kind of things happen, and I was not able to actually save anything. So, I can't do much. Um, I can't do anything else aside from 
trying to cut the corners to reach on par unless I want to spend another month doing what I already did only off camera so it's not yeah either pause one month series drop the series or use mods and I prefer to use mods to save it at this point and in the next map we're still gonna go with vanilla and the dinos from here because I'm not altering the dinos I'm just cutting a lot of time from breeding mutating and whatnot Oh yeah, and there was one other mod which is gonna help me a ton also. And this one again is aimed at cutting time, cutting tedious time on combining stats. Um, I think it's called Better Dino Treat. Better, yeah, there we go, baby something. Baby Treat best stats, baby treat gender change, baby treat whatever. What these do is get the lower weight, get the lower food, get the lower melee, or the best stats from each um, dino, if you use this on a baby, right? So gender change, I'm gonna need it. Um, best stats, I'm gonna need it. And probably lower oxygen, lower food. And that's about it. The others I don't really care about, right? So these are gonna help me also in combining the stats and getting everything set up with the Terezinos so I can actually speed up the mutations. Now, let me go to the um, to the snow biome. Do I have my altar? Yeah, let me go there and show you what dinos I have. Actually, what's the closest one? Is the snow one or the green one? The green one is the closer. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the green knob. Um, I'm gonna go to the green knob and show you exactly what dinos do I have from my um, online playthrough and what we're working on in terms of rexes. And I think um, I'm not gonna need any kind of megatheriums either, but for the sake of the series, since I already did the videos, I'm gonna hunt for megatheriums and get them ready for the brood mummy um, as soon as possible. Right, so yeah. I got really, really strong Rexes. I've played this um, on that series with a friend of mine, um, and he mostly took care of the Rexes. I mostly took care of the Terezinos. Anyways, they are very strong Rexes. Uh, you can reach the same level of strength, even higher strength, because I think we were not necessarily nitpicking every single uh, stat. But um, they're very strong Rexes, very, very strong Rexes. You can reach the same, you can reach even higher, as I said. Uh, if you just keep mutating and you can use the same mods that I used if you're going solo and you don't have time um, and you want to play a more relaxed and less time demanding less tedious and chorish kind of gameplay although I think this has its charm like don't get me wrong I'm not against doing these kind of daily repetitive chore like tasks because it's part of survival right so I'm not against it altogether and I typically don't like using, for example, if I may use in my playthroughs that um, method with hitching post and auto claim babies, I'm not willing to use uh, the mutation potions unless it's an extreme case like now, right? So I'd rather have it natural and let it there. Uh, it gives you multiple benefits like levels um, and whatnot. Sometimes you can have quirky accidents and it, there are plenty of things that you're skipping on if you do this right so yeah well what, what was i saying regarding the rexes anyways <laughs> the rexes are strong you can do the same you can do with the vanilla method you can do with the cryopods method and um yeah you're gonna get this high with them i like typically like to play um vanilla style even if it adds a couple of mods but I'm not changing the dinos in any way um, and I'm not doing all that crazy stuff. Let me save the game again. <laughs> all that crazy stuff with altering creatures. Let me see. Now my theories have 404 on the other um, on the other playthrough. However, you can see the food is higher than what we have now, right? And 
Anyways, it doesn't matter. I think the ones in the series that we have right now are gonna be stronger if I go min-maxed. Rexes. Rexes have 61k health out of the box. Right. 61k health. Uh, I don't think it's out of the box. I think this is leveled. Yeah, this is leveled. And 1600 96% damage you can reach again you can reach these levels of damage and stats easily easily right easily and we got one Rex there we go if I'm showing the ancestors just take a look at it it mutates all the way to bejesus and back yeah have plenty 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 of mutations and yeah, 80 mutations around there, it looks like it, so it's, uh, yeah, they're a good batch, they're a really good batch, uh, I wish I didn't need to do this, but it is what it is, and let me get another, okay, and I have also a Renunatha, but I'm not gonna use the Renunatha uh, now probably I'm gonna tame one later on I'm gonna have to think about it right so I got the Rexes um, male and female and I'm gonna breed an army of these and then see what we can see right see what we can do with them probably I'm gonna mutate um, I don't have any items right no items to get anyways probably I'm gonna mutate them at a point uh, I'm gonna breed my own batch and mutate it in the series later on after more expansions drop or if I find any reliable farmable Rex spot in other maps of course cool now I do realize this was more domain gloom and this was not good news but I do hope with these mods and with the stability improvements the wildcard promised that are gonna happen after the um, Mega Raptor patch, I am able to recover and go do funky stuff and continue the series. Right, thank you very much guys for sticking this long. Uh, sorry for the whole uh, messy thing and moving towards more modded series, but it is what it is. And I do hope uh, you're still gonna enjoy the series further on. And yeah, see you guys next time.